So now we'll hop into a demo of Postalytics. And when you log in to Postalytics, the first thing that you're gonna see is a big, bright dashboard that shows you everything that you've done, all the campaigns that you've sent, what's happened after you sent from a delivery standpoint and a response standpoint. So how are we doing this? How are we actually tracking what happens after you send? Well, the first step is that we and our print partners take advantage of a little known feature from the US Postal Service called Intelligent Mail Barcode. And what happens uh, with Intelligent Mail Barcode when it's implemented by a printer is that the Postal Service will scan each piece of mail as it rolls through their delivery process. So what we do is we associate each piece of mail back to a contact record. And so as those scans happen, we're getting continual updates from the Postal Service on exactly what is happening to your mail. Where is it in the delivery process? The final scan from the Postal Service is in the local post office the day before delivery. We capture that and we're able to actually synchronize this data back to your CRM. So if you pull a, a, a record, pull a list out of HubSpot or you're triggering a campaign out of HubSpot or Salesforce or any of the others, you're able to know back in your contact record that a piece of mail has been delivered. You're then able to report on that. You're able to use that data to trigger other things such as an email or a phone call from a rep. And it's all being stored in that one central place where you're trying to keep all the information about your customers and your prospects, all right? No more data silos. Direct mail is not this thing hanging off the site anymore. It's incorporated back into exactly what you use. From a response standpoint, well, how are we gonna know who's gone online? There are a whole bunch of different techniques. Uh, we've got a tremendous amount of experience in deploying something called personalized URLs. And this is another technique that the largest, most sophisticated mailers have traditionally used to measure the response, the online response to direct mail. So that's a pretty sophisticated software that is pretty expensive, uh, that is typically deployed with big campaigns. We've bundled it into Postalytics, so it's free. You can deploy an unlimited number of pearls. And so what happens is every person in the campaign gets a unique URL to respond to, and then they get redirected over to any landing page system that you want, whether you've got HubSpot landing pages or WordPress or Unbounce or any of those tools. And we're able to track exactly what happens to each person as they roll through those pages. And so we capture all of that, bring it back into a dashboard, and again, sync it back into HubSpot or Salesforce or your other CRMs. So we've got lots of great data here that we present on what's happening in your account. And the rest of the software is pretty straightforward and simple. So uh, I'll start with lists. And you can add an unlimited number of lists into Postalytics. Uh, there's no um, pricing or any other sorts of barriers to loading uh, as many lists as you want into uh, the software. And uh, you're able to reuse those lists over and over again across an unlimited number of campaigns. So there's a whole lot of different ways to add lists into Postalytics. Uh, first, you can pull lists directly in from Salesforce or HubSpot. And so if you go into HubSpot and you've segmented your audience and you save that as a list, that list can be brought immediately into Postalytics. Same with Salesforce. You can also upload data files. So if you've got data from uh, lists from different sources, say a sales rep comes back from a conference, uh, bangs out a spreadsheet, you can mail to those people immediately. The other thing that we've done is we've integrated with a wholesale mailing list provider to give you very high quality, inexpensive 
consumer, occupant, and B2B mailing lists that you can purchase right here in the software. You don't have to talk to brokers. You don't have to be sending files back and forth. None of that stuff. It's all done electronically right through Postalytics. I'm just going to walk into a quick HubSpot list integration so you can see how easy it is. Here's a, a list of all of my HubSpot lists. Let's say I'll grab my New England contacts. We'll go through a simple mapping process. We care about the obvious things such as address, city, state, and zip. You can also map custom fields uh, that you've got in uh, HubSpot or Salesforce. Uh, let's say you want to use the HubSpot score. We can map that to a custom field. You can also capture something like uh, the HubSpot persona. And by mapping this data in, you can use that data in your creative to generate dynamic content to different parts of your audience. So super fast, super easy way to capture HubSpot contact data. All right, so now that I've created uh, that list, it'll take a, just a minute to come in. Uh, we can move on and take a look at templates. So the creative in Postalytics uh, works kind of like the list function does in that you can build creative postcards and letters from a whole variety of different ways and then you save them and use them as templates so that they can be reused across campaign after campaign after campaign. Super fast and easy. I can take an existing template. I can make a copy of it, do some modifications, and then I'm off to the races. So I'm going to move that and move this and make some other modifications, save, proof it, and then use it in a campaign. So we've built, as you can see, this very easy to use drag and drop editor. And uh, let's say I want to add a, maybe a QR code into this. I can just drop it in. Resize it a little bit. And then I'm done. There's a whole bunch of other ways to build templates in, in Postalytics. First, if you've got a graphic designer that's great at building images in Photoshop, Illustrator, InDesign, we've got a, a style guide that you can download with overlays. Uh, that will put our specs for your designer right into that product. So they can de design images, upload them, and then use them in Postalytics templates super fast. We also have a library of pre-built templates. And so these are designed by professional designers, and we've got more coming in all the time. And you can grab any of them, whether they're postcards or letters, and begin to use them. I'll just grab this one. And so now this highlights uh, some of our interesting personalization tools. So as we mentioned, you've got an ability to utilize the data that you import either uh, from HubSpot or Salesforce or from files or uh, purchase lists that you've you've uh, accumulated, and you can drop that data directly into Postalytics. And so you can see I've got a first name variable here. Let's say I want to grab something else. We'll say, I'll just pull this test list we just imported. Um, maybe I'll drop in the uh, company into this template, right? And so it's fast and easy, just like that, to drop in what we call variable data items and 
Once you do that, you can uh, modify it in any way. You can change the font, change the color. Uh, right now it's bold. Let's make it light. Okay. Uh, lots of tools here to uh, create really powerful direct mail with great copy and great images that you can reuse over and over again. The other thing I'll quickly show you is what we call variable logic. And this is a tool that allows you to use data from your lists to create dynamic content blocks that are displayed to different segments of your audience. So in this case, I'm going to say, all right, state equals MA. I'm going to say Patriots rock, all right? You can tell where we're from. And then if I said state does not equal MA, I can say Patriots cheat. And so I'm speaking to audiences in different parts of the country with the words that I know will connect with them. I can even drop images in to these conditional uh, statements. And so if I wanted to have uh, our friend Tom Brady appear for our Massachusetts folks, I can do that. And then I can have, say, the uh, quarterback for the Cowboys appear for everybody else. All right, now I've got this block. I can drop in and move around wherever I like. Toggle between the different conditions, style it, change it any way that makes sense. So the editor is a very powerful tool and it eliminates weeks and dozens, weeks of calls and delays, dozens of emails, meetings, everything is done in one place, one time, and then you can use it over and over again, just like you do with email. So then finally, you can build a campaign. Campaigns are very easy to build. Uh, we've got simple wizards, and we mentioned that there are a couple different types of campaigns. You can use a list-based campaign we call a smart send that will grab one of those lists that we'd identified earlier, merge it with the creative that you choose, and schedule it. Or you can set up what we call a triggered drip campaign. And the triggered drip will create a listener for your marketing automation tool to trigger. And so this is what you drop into, say, a HubSpot workflow to trigger an individual piece of mail, a letter or a postcard to go out at a particular step of a workflow. And so the, the campaign wizards are very similar. You just end up with a, a different experience at the end. We'll, we'll walk through a quick smart send campaign to show you how easy it is. Now compare this to sending mail the traditional way. Call this test campaign. I'll put in whatever return address I want. I'm going to pick my list to send to. The list I just imported from HubSpot. I'll pick a template. So I'll just grab this one. And now my template is utilizing our online tracking feature, uh, the personalized URLs. And so uh, the system is smart enough to say, hey, let's define this uh, URL so that we can create a unique URL for each person we mail to. There's lots of different ways to do this. Uh, you can use a free domain that we give you. You can uh, set up a vanity domain. We've got a domain tool here. Uh, and then you can choose to either have a, a random set of letters and numbers, create the uniqueness, or you can make what we call a friendly URL, where maybe you take the first name and last name of each person and incorporate it into your campaign.
So now I've defined my tracking. I just need to say now, where am I going to send these people once they respond to my mailer? And you drop in your landing page. And as long as the landing page has our tracking code built in, it will be able to recognize each visitor that is, comes from their unique URL, and we can track exactly what they've done. You can even take data from your direct mailer and populate your landing page for each person uniquely. So we've got some amazing tools there. You can also set up a goal URL. So if you've got, say, a piece of gated content, uh, or you uh, want to walk people through a, uh, an e-commerce workflow and you have a, a thank you page or another URL that you want to get people to to indicate, yeah, this is a conversion. You can enter that URL here and we'll keep track of those conversions for you. And then finally, the, the last step is to schedule it. So the idea of scheduling with a couple of clicks is a completely foreign concept to people that have been doing direct mail the old way. Uh, but you can literally put these campaigns together in minutes and schedule them to be sent whenever you want. And so uh, in this case, I'm choosing first class mail. And if I were to send it out to the printer network, uh, next Wednesday, the 26th, uh, my list has uh, 205 people in it. It's figuring out an estimated cost and the estimated in-home date. If I change to standard, standard mail costs less. You can see it's down to 65 cents a piece, but it's also going to take longer to get there. And so you can play with these postage types and delivery dates and set up a schedule of multi-touch mailers to be continually touching your audience with just an hour or two of work, you can do the entire thing. You can schedule the whole year out. So uh, it's, again, a very different workflow than what anybody has uh, dealt with before. So how does the pricing work? We talked a little bit about pricing before. So as we mentioned, we've got uh, different plans. And you can change your plan at any time. Uh, there's no uh, contracts or anything. You can uh, move up and down between the tiers uh, as it makes sense for your business. Uh, the pro plan uh, is our most full featured and offers our best pricing. And so, uh, for example, you can see here that uh, a first class letter in the pro plan is 90 cents in the free plan is $1.30. So what a lot of folks will do is they'll sign up for the free plan, play around, maybe send some samples of themselves. And then as they're gearing up for a campaign with any volume, they'll buy into a subscription and start using Postalytics in a much less expensive way uh, by saving money on each piece of mail that is being sent. So again, Clear, simple pricing. You're not getting dinged for uh, hidden fees, handling, postage separate from paper, et cetera, et cetera. Just like sending email. So that's really the uh, webinar that we want.